I'm going to show you two things in this video. First of all, I'm going to show you how you can make variables global so they can be used anywhere inside of your program. And I'm going to show you um, how to return a value from a function. That's not something that we have talk about, talked about in the intro to coding class. Some of you may have explored it a little bit, but I'm just going to show you some examples. Um, so first of all, we're going to create a structure. A structure is a way to, it's a way to encapsulate information so that it can be used later, like a class for object-oriented programming, but we haven't talked about object-oriented programming yet. So this is kind of a nice introduction to that idea. Don't, I'll explain more as we go. So we're going to create a structure that defines the global variables. And I use global because that's a Python word. That's why I put quotes around it. So we're going to create this thing. It's a structure. So I'm going to say it's struct. And I'm going to call this my variables. Use a capital letter when you're naming a struct or structure or a class. So I'm going to call mine vars. So properties of this variable, and I'm going to call this score, and I'm going to set it to zero. And I need to use the word var because it's a variable. All right, so I've got a static variable, meaning a variable whose, whose core properties will not be changed anywhere in my, in my program. I called it score, and I set that equal to zero. Okay, now I'm going to create a function, um, a function that adds one to the score and returns that value. We haven't talked about returning a value in a function either, so I'm going to show you what that looks like and how it could be used. So I'm going to create a function, I'm going to call it add to my score. And I'm going to, as a result of all of this, I'm going to end up with an integer value that is, is what I'm going to return. I'll show you what that means. So let's do, um, so in, or, in order to use our score, then we need to create what's called an instance of that score. In other words, we need to call vars, hold on. So we're going to call vars and say within vars, let's get the score value. And we're going to add one to it. Now notice this is really mad saying you need to have a return. You need to return something here. And what we're going to return is the value of score. Okay, let me show you how we can work with that. Kind of an interesting thing because what I can do right now is print what this what this function is returning. So this is returning a value, meaning it's it's calculating the value and making the value available when you call the function. So if I just call the function, it will do all of this, and what will print is what is being returned. So it should print the number one. Let's give it a try. It's a slow build, but it's building. Wow, that's a really slow build. Here we go. Oh my goodness. It's just printing the number one. That's all I'm asking it to do. My computer is not happy. All right, I'm going to let it keep trying to build because I don't want to sit here all day while it's doing that. Um, I'm going to create a new function. I'm not going to have this one return anything. So a function that subtracts two from the score. And no return this time. We'll just call the function and just show you. I'll just show you what it's going to do. So func. We're going to subtract from the score this time. 
We're not going to return anything, so I don't need to do that return integer. I'm going to create another an instance of our score. And this time I'm going to subtract two from it. And that's all I'm going to do here. I'm not going to return that value because I'm going to show you how we can use that function. Oh, there it goes. It finally printed one. That was a lot of work. Okay, so what we'll need to do then, this one, we, we printed the function. In other words, we printed the result of the function. On this one, I didn't do a return value, so we need to call the function first. And then we can print the value of vars.score. So we have to call the function in order for this calculation to happen. And once that calculation happened, now we can print the new value of that score value. So there are two ways to do it. You can do a return, which kind of just already spits out the result, or we can call the function, which will make the math happen, and then print the result of that variable, or the value of that variable. So let's try it and see if this builds a little bit faster. If not, you're going to get the point. So it should print 1 from the first one, and then when it subtracts 2, it should print negative 1, which it did. Okay.